Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty and I'm gonna give you two reviews today. That's right, I'm gonna give you two reviews and one video. I will be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Desert Boot and also a Louis Vuitton headband. It's not technically a headband. I know that guys, I already know that, but that's what I call it because that's what I wore it as. Uh, Louis Vuitton Desert Boot and a Louis Vuitton headband. So let me rewind this whole story and let me tell you how I came across a sold out shoe. A sold out shoe in the United States. So I live in Japan. My family and I, we live in Japan. We've been here for about six months. But I really wanted this shoe. Christmas time is, was like one week away and I was like, I have to find this shoe. So I went to the Louis Vuitton and Japan. I went to Japanese Louis Vuitton and they had the shoe, but they didn't have my size. The representative there, she was like, we just don't carry those sizes. You know, the biggest size we have is like an American size four. Japanese women, our feet don't get that big, so they don't even, they don't even carry those sizes. I was like, could you order it from another Japanese store somewhere? I know it's possible. She was like, but she was like, I'm like, I'm not kidding. The biggest size I found in all of Japan was like a size US 5. So I was SOL with that. There was just no way they would have a, my, I, I needed a 39, which is like a American size nine or eight or something like that. So I, went, I said, okay, let me try the U.S. because I can still get it shipped over here and make it in time for Christmas. You know, it'll make me feel a lot better. So I looked online on the U.S. Louis Vuitton site. Not one shoe, not my size or anything. So I was so discouraged. So I, uh, with the time difference here, I stayed up to about 1 a.m. so that I could call the Louis Vuitton store and it would have been in the morning time there. So I stayed up just so I could talk to them. And I was on hold for about 20 minutes. I'm like, dang, Louis Vuitton, why are y'all so busy? So when I got a representative, she was like, ma'am, that's the shoe, that that's the it shoe for this season. Like, that's why our phone lines are ringing off the hook. That's why the wait times are longer. Like, that's just the shoe that everyone is calling looking for. We don't have one size, we don't have one shoe anywhere in the United States. So I was completely devastated. I was to the point of almost breaking down and crying if I could not find this shoe. I posted it on my Snapchat, my Instagram, asking for help. Anybody, just help me find this shoe. I don't care what means y'all go to get it. No luck there. So at the time, my husband was in Korea. He was on assignment. He had been gone for about two weeks. So, you know, I didn't think of having him look over there or anything. He was actually in the airport on the way back to Japan, back home. And um, he's like, baby, I have like a four hour layover. I'm gonna search around. I'm just gonna walk around the Seoul International Airport. And he always brings me nice things from his trips because he's always going to these different missions, different countries or whatnot. So he always looks around and try to find, you know, a souvenir, something real nice. So that was, that was his intentions to find because I collect magnets or whatnot. So he was just like, I'm gonna find you something nice so but you know fast forward 10 minutes into the conversation on FaceTime he's like babe there's a Louis Vuitton store here and the light bulb instantly went off in my head I'm like bing that's it I'm like babe go to that store and see if they have my size luckily they had one size 39 in that whole entire store one size 39 and it just so happened to have been the shoe I wanted they didn't have a size 39 in any other shoe but the shoe I wanted now I was like I don't know if that's a Christmas miracle but I'm gonna call it a Christmas miracle so I didn't know what size I wore because uh, all the sizes between the different countries are a little bit different they're not really really different but they are a little bit different u.s size is different from japanese size japanese size is different from korean size korean size is different from u.s size so i just had to look up the draw i just said well babe i have to have that shoe the representatives already told us she was like well we don't accept returns but meaning we will have to catch a flight to another country to return this shoe because we live in japan we have to catch a flight to korea to return the shoe so i knew that i was stuck with this shoe i said well if it does not fit i can always resell it because somebody's going to be willing to buy it you know and um it was a duty-free location so i didn't pay any taxes on it it was 12.50 exactly so I was like, you know, I'll just have to resell it for no tax or whatever. You know, just get 100% of my uh, money back. Okay, so I got the shoe. My husband came home. I looked at that box and trying on the shoe was like Cinderella trying on her glass slipper. It fit so perfect. It was, if I had gone down a half size more or I mean half size less or up a half size, it would have been too small or too big. So it was 
perfect y'all when I tell you I was so happy that was a Christmas miracle I promise you that was a Christmas miracle so that's the bizarre story behind behind how I looked in three different countries for this doggone shoe and ended up find, finding the exact size that I needed so without further ado I'm gonna take y'all into the review and like I said it's two reviews so stick around because I also have a headband it's actually a purse accessory that's what the girl at the Louis Vuitton store told me but I wore it as a headband so stick around for both reviews and I will see y'all in a bit peace So, the shoe comes in a bag, of course, the Louis Vuitton bag. Okay, now I'm going to have to put this bag down to take this box out because it's huge. Okay. okay, and it comes in a Louis Vuitton box with a cute little bow, a Louis Vuitton bow. And with this bow is this little pocket thing. It's it's uh the receipt is in door inside of it. Like a small little receipt was tucked away, and it's a card on the inside that's blank. That like if it was a gift, you could you know write a special message to your special someone or something. I don't even think my husband noticed it, so mine is still blank. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Okay, now let's get to the shoe. You have to open the tab with this. There's this little blue tab here, and you pull it out, and you pull it out, and you pull it out. I'm gonna sit it down because this box is huge. And when you open it, there's a there's an envelope on the inside, and inside of the envelope there is your your receipt, and there is a card. Uh, I guess the lady who helped my husband was Ari you If you're in the Seoul International Airport, go check her out. She was really nice and she spoke English really well, so that was a plus. She even like looked up online to see different sizing for me. She FaceTimed me. We were on FaceTime throughout this whole deal, so she was really, really nice. And it's RU. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but she's a um she's a client advisor. So if you're passing through Korea, you know, stop by, give her a holler. And of course the receipt. It is in English, but the stuff on the back, like the return policy and all, I guess that's what this is, is all in Korean. I do not know what any letter says. Um, and of course the receipt. And the good thing about this was it was duty free, meaning since my husband purchased them in the airport, it was tax free. So the total price was 1250 and that's it, no taxes. So that that was a huge help and I'm so glad that it was like that because I wouldn't have wanted to pay the taxes. <laughs> okay, so each shoe comes in this dust bag, which is perfect because I travel a lot and you cannot take this huge box with you you pull the box the bag off and here is the shoe okay so it has a bit of a heel a bit of a platform but i'm telling you the shoe is so comfortable you don't even notice that there's a heel or a little bit of a heel and a little bit of a platform it literally feels i was in the military and we wore boots all day for forever but they were uncomfortable my feet were hurt at the end of the day but these are not this type of boot it's it's a comfortable built boot the um the shoelaces are this leather material and it's so cute it's kind of hard to tie them so what i will i did i just wrapped them around and had them tied at the back and on the back you have the louis vuitton print on the front you have the Louis Vuitton print as well and the whole tongue of the shoe I'm gonna try to open it up so you guys can see okay so the whole tongue of the shoe is also Louis Vuitton so you have plenty of the Louis Vuitton print and it has gold buckles around the shoelace shoelaces and I thought it was pretty cool because you accessor when you accessorize you know you put your gold accessories which is what I wore with it and it looks it looks so bomb. I'm gonna take the other shoe out the bag and show you guys that. Like I said, each shoe has a dust cover. And it is 
so gorgeous. This shoe was just like my dream shoe and I think I was gonna die if, <laughs> if I didn't get this shoe. And it is so gorgeous and I love it. It is my favorite. So if you're thinking about purchasing this shoe, of course I will highly, highly recommend it because of the comfort. I have shoes that I cannot even wear <laughs> unless I'm sitting down all day because they're so uncomfortable. But this shoe, like I said, it pretty much runs true to size. Just to be on the safe side, go a half size up. But like I said, my shoe, this is a 39 in Korean sizes. Now, I'm not sure if a 39 Koreans actually is not. In Korea, the 39, the 39 that I have is like a size 8.5 in in American sizes. She looked up the size conversion and she let me know. So this is a Korean size, but I cannot tell you how American sizing is because this isn't an, I didn't get it in America. So the story behind this shoe is bizarre. I searched three different countries for this shoe and I was devastated after looking in Japan and United States. I had people in Florida and at, back at home in Atlanta ready to go to the mall and snatch them up if they just had my size but it just nobody had it and the Louis Vuitton representative she didn't know when they would restock she just knew there was not one size in America for sale unless she was buying them used or something or had like a plug or something but I don't trust that stuff because stuff be fake but anywho okay so the second review the second product I'm going to review on this video real quick is what I wore with the uh, Louis Vuitton boot it comes in this small bag and it's um it's not technically a hand uh, a headband I think it's like like a purse something you tie around your purse or something so but I wanted something I wanted a rock star kind of look when I wore the shoe and I'll post a picture of what I wore with this shoe and this headband but it comes in a Louis Vuitton bag and I got this from the one here in Japan I did not have to go to Korea and stuff like that I just drove to Tea Galleria and um and Tea Galleria is actually if you live in Okinawa T Galleria is also a duty-free place, so I didn't pay any taxes for this either. But anywho, like I said, the, the receipt envelope and my representative here is called Mio and she's so sweet. She was, she was just like the best representative ever. When I was devastated, when I went into the Japanese store, she felt my pain. She was like, I know you really want this shoe, but I literally just searched everywhere and we don't have a size 39 in Japan anywhere. <laughs> so, but she was really, really sweet. So I did return and spend some money with her with buying this thing. Um, the price with this was 19,000 yen. Uh, how much does that equate to in American dollars? Hold on, let's see. Nope, it's only in yen, Japanese yen. So 19,000 yen equals like 180 US dollars, maybe something like that. Give or take a few, so. Um, but anywho, it was real cheap, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, it's not a full head scarf or anything like that. And um, it comes in this box, it comes with the paper, the gift wrap paper with the Louis Vuitton wording on it. And I'm gonna take it out for you. Now it is a little wrinkle cause I did wear it already, but this is the print for it. This is the print and it matches the shoes perfectly. Like it just like, it really complements it. So what I did was uh, I wrapped it around my head sort of like this. And then I just had it hanging, had it hanging like this. Now it looks kind of funny because I got these braids in. But I had my wig on, girl, when I wore it last time. I had my red wig on. You couldn't tell me anything. You cannot tell me that I wasn't a rock star. I will be posting pictures at the end of this video. But that's my ensemble. This scarf is really silky and it's very durable. I thought it was because it was so small that it would be like cheap and flimsy, but it is excellent quality it's very very quality and it's, it's versatile you can wear it a number of different ways i probably won't wear it anything other than like a headband or something like that because it's kind of skinny to be like a like one of these kind of scars oh no i guess you can do it you know so you can play with it for like 180 dollars it's like the cheapest thing in the louis store so you know and i had to have some some kind of accessories to go with this um i didn't want a louis purse 
it's not my style per se so I just went with this headband thing so leave any questions you have for me down below in the comment box and I will uh, respond to all of them but like I said you know just to wrap this review up that shoe is very very comfortable and in Korean sizes they do run you have to go up a half size so you know it's it's worth it, it's worth the money the shoestrings are even in leather so you know you get you get some quality you get what you pay for it is a very quality shoe like I said I've worn this shoe once already and the bottom is still practically brand new it still smells brand new the whole inside of the shoe is uh is leather and it has the Louis Vuitton writing on it or whatever the case is so you know if you're and they look easy to clean so this will be something I'll have this shoe for a very long time because I take care of my things. But that is all I have for y'all today. And make sure you be on the lookout because I did get other things for Christmas. So if you want to find out the things that I got for Christmas and when I do a review on them, I will be doing a video for those as well. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.